10 days ago, we received through the post a warrant for possession on the 23rd of July at 9 in the morning. That was very upsetting for my wife. Well, I wasn't too pleased either. And I wasn't even... I was worse pleased, if there's such a thing, when this turned up at my door. You may recognise him, featured in many evictions. David Caress. An obnoxious, egotistical person. He's not a man. And they say that you can tell a man's soul through his eyes. This man, he's not wearing glasses. You're looking straight into his soul. That evil person takes homes from old people. From sick people. From young people with children. With no concern. And his friends. And the county court instigates this. The county court and the banks are complicit in fraud against the people. The men and women of this country. It's a genocide against us. The banks don't have any money left. So they're going after the property. My wife and myself paid for 25 years. We brought up three children in this little home. It's only a small bungalow. It's not worth a lot. Not compared to other property. But it's our property. It's our land. But they're coming on the 23rd of July. So if you can come along and stand with my family and myself shoulder to shoulder to show these thugs and scum that they don't have any authority. People didn't give them this permission to do this. Governments, corporations did. They're not alive. They're dead entities. After 26 years, years and in my 60s It'll be very difficult to start again. We will, but I will battle. I'll not only battle for my family, I will battle for any other family now. They've started a war with me. Well, I've declared war on them. They may win a battle, but they won't win the war. Win the war. Do what you can. The message out there. It can't go on. This is criminal. This is affecting my grandchildren. And their children will be infected. Your children, your grandchildren, your friends, your neighbours. They think they have the power. I've never been a revolutionist. I've always followed the law. I thought they would take care of me. And they did. Thank you. Whatever government was in power. But when the people speak, and they speak as one, and they stand together against these people you have to let people know it can't go on it can't go on
How are you, mate? Good, thanks. Yeah. What a day. It's been fantastic. So, you know, the, we all know the background <laughs> to it. Can you just give us a very fair outline of what's happened today, Simon? Well, basically, we all started turning up from early hours of this morning. In fact, a couple stayed in our back garden last night camping, and we've come this morning uh, to support Tom in this attempted illegal, unlawful eviction. Uh, Tom has paid his mortgage for 25 years. He got into it, it was a, an endowment mortgage originally, but because most of those don't understand is when you go to a, a bank and you, you apply for a mortgage and you fill out the agreement, you actually create the money there and then. The bank just then facilitates the credit back to you. But when you're filling out the agreements, they also get you unknowingly, although it is in the terms and conditions if you look closely, to sign over your power of attorney, which means they can then ch change that uh, any agreement and write agreements for you but by the bank in your absence because you've given them power of attorney and this is what's gone off here and people have, have, have finally had enough and are waking up and saying we're not having this anymore the banks we know are corrupt the government we know is bought and paid for by the banks corrupt and the people are now starting to stand up and say we've had enough so what's the message for the powers that be your time's numbered mate if i was you i'd, I'd get off to another another country while you can because when they come for you and they're coming I can't be held responsible for what they do. I know I wouldn't want you hanging, but I've got a feeling that many will. Yeah. Fantastic day, Guy. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So what's, your, what's your take on the proceedings? Right, well, take on the proceedings. Fantastic day. We've actually got people power in action. We've got probably 300 people, I expect, have come to Tom's house. Um, they've tried to evict him on a fraudulent basis. Um, we've forensically analysed the paperwork. There hasn't even been any proceedings against him. And he did a, a magnificent uh, YouTube video where you know it was just a working man explaining his situation, and uh, the public have the public have acted and, uh, and put their boots on the ground and supported him. So we've stopped. We, you know, we've so far stopped it. They ain't going to get in there. So end of story. This will this will send a message off, surely. Well, it's got to. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, what else can there be? If there's if if there's an abuse of the statutory process, we're entitled to use a common law defence, and a common law defence is practical action. And what a lot of people do is. They get on the internet and they're tap, typing away and getting steam coming off the keyboards when they should actually be engaging in practical actions because you gain so much from it. Just being at a practical action with people in support, seeing that other people are in the same boat as you, it, that empowers you in itself. So what we're doing is we're trying to take it from two angles. We're firstly boots on the ground, so much support they're not able to enforce what they need to enforce. And secondly, looking at their documentation, which should be to the prescribed form. This is why we pay lawyers and judges so much money, because every, every T is supposed to be crossed, every I is supposed to be dotted, and it's all supposed to be exactly right, to the prescribed form. And upon, But upon scrutiny, we've discovered that this isn't, they're never to the prescribed form, and that uh, they've all been operating outside the boundaries afforded them by jurors, by their, by their, their own legislation, and uh, the whole thing's a farce. So with Tom in particular, we've discovered that there hasn't even been any proceedings against him. It's just been uh, fraudulent documentation. So the bailiffs, if they come there today, will get arrested. And uh, simple as that. And then we're hoping that the police will start waking up and start examining court documentation. And uh, but that's the Pinter movement. You know, it's people power. People standing shoulder to shoulder, as Tom says, in support of each other. And that is on the one hand, so they don't enforce what they're trying to enforce. And then secondly, examining their documentation looking at their documentation forensically and finding out that it doesn't stand up to scrutiny. Are we seeing a sea change then, Guy? I would say so, yes. So this is the, I can honestly say in the years that I've been doing this, I've been preaching to the converted at a lot of these events whereby there's only been people that I know from all over the country and there's been a group of us doing this for many years. Now members of the public are engaging on a daily basis, you know, because everybody is getting things coming into their own event horizons. You know, um, you know, they're, they're getting bailiff's letters and they're getting, you know, and if it's over £750, they'll make you bankrupt and they'll take your house off you and then they, they're like piranhas in the pool. And they'll take everything off you. And everybody's starting to get get this happen to them. And so, yes, we've had people uh, contacting us who never would have contacted us before. Uh, over the last two or three months, it's, it's become massive. And, and yeah, I think the public is starting to finally wake up to what's going on and they realise that these people that have been engaged in these actions are not tinfoil hat wearers, that they're actually just, and we're, we're, we've been trying to support the public all the time, you know, and now we're, it's looking like it's come to fruition. So, so we can, uh, a lot of activists now can drop the paradigms and see the real enemy and the real 
Exactly. You know, that's exactly right. That, that's what we've been stuck in, isn't it? Different paradigms. Yes. We've, we've not been working together, and this, the, you're right, the sea change is coming, isn't it? That's right. It's a, it, a sea change is coming because everybody's getting this. And if, if some guy can have his mortgage changed from a, a, an endowment mortgage, and then when he retires and thinks it's all over, changed to a, an interest only mortgage, and then when you examine the paperwork, there hasn't even been a court process, there's been nothing. Um, it can affect him, it can affect everyone. Everyone's got to wake up and realise this isn't, this isn't a, 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 a um, it, this is a robbery going on. You know, this, it, this is what's going on in this country at the moment. You know, this isn't austerity, it's a robbery. It's, it's, and it is that simple. You know. They forced us to it. They forced us to it. Well, this is what they wanted, this is what they got. Yeah. So, uh, you know. And there's only one winner. Yeah, and it's us. <laughs> nice one, guy. Okay. Afternoon, Carl. What, what's your take on the day? Um, blown away with the numbers. Um, this is I think, the fourth eviction I've been to. First one is about 30 there. Second one is only about 10 there. Turn up here and it's already 100, 150 people. Um, I don't know what the estimate is, but I reckon 200. It's brilliant for the future. It's laying groundwork for more people standing up to these psychopathic idiots. This is, un this is unprecedented today, but like you said there, you've been to previous ones where there's only been, say, 10 people, yeah. still been successful. Successful, yeah. And it's like, like I say, it's laid the groundwork for this to, to come along. Um, and just hopefully more people can do it. And I just hope um, we don't come like five o'clock in the morning on him. Like some of them have you know, done at later dates on them. It's, um, you know, that's it really. I think the next step, Carl, I don't know what you think. Is when we're stopping evictions in the future, it's got to be community-based. Yes. It's got to be your neighbours. It's got yeah. to be your family, yes. or your friends. Yes. You know, it's not very well be people being bussed in to stop this type of thing, which we'll we'll do if we can. You know, we'll help people. We've come as far as way as Manchester, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, Lo there's loads come from Manchester today. Yeah. But um, as well, I think we're starting to get outside the courthouses when the decisions are being made for the evictions. We might, we might not get in there, but the numbers outside. You know, it's sending a message out to them, we're not taking this bullshit off them. No, that way, there's a lot of people saying we should actually take the fight to the bailiffs and start finding out where they live well, yeah, and uh, going to visit them yes, and uh, well, ask their opinions on certain things. Well, well, they're the foot soldiers of the corporate elite, aren't they? We're the foot soldiers of the working man. Um, so, yeah, we've got to take it straight to them because they're paid mercenaries at the end of the day, following orders. They're no different to the Nazis that were following orders when they kill people, you know, putting people out of their homes, making them homeless. It's, you know, could, could cause people to commit suicide and all sorts of horrible shit. I mean, last year in Oldham, the one where we, um, we stopped the eviction and then we called the bailiffs to find out they went to an eviction afterwards and a bloke had hung himself. See you later. That is the reason we're doing this. Uh, we don't want um, people taking their lives for something that's debt. Debt? What's debt? You know, debt collectors. Death collectors, more like. So, yeah. Um, it's got to stop now. Now we can't have it going on much longer. The line in the sand. Yeah, line drawn now. Yeah. Well done, Cal. <laughs> Afternoon, Pete. Hi. Right. Yeah, so, you've seen what the events uh, this morning. Yeah. What's your take on it? I think it's absolutely brilliant. How many people are there? A couple of hundred or something? And, um, Estimates up to 300. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah so, um, yeah, I think it's a major, major success. And um, it would have been nice if the bailiffs had come round. As far as I know, they, they, they still haven't. Uh, it would have been nice because there's, there's plenty of stuff that they need talking to about. But, uh, but if, if we, if by just sheer force of numbers, we, we've managed to stop them coming, mm. then, then that, that's fantastic. Well, this is it really needs, needs to happen all over the country. Well, this will, this is a shining example, isn't yeah, it, it is. for people to follow? We don't necessarily yeah. get these numbers, but you know, 20 to 30 people stops eviction. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So um, I've been, been asking a few people uh, as to, to what the, what's open, what powers are open to the bailiffs after this. And uh, one opinion is that if they don't come today, then they've got to apply for it all again. But it's, it seems to be a bit of a grey area. So we need we need to rise up on what their actual powers are, so that so that we know for the future just exactly how how it's all going to go after. So there's a, there's a whole general point that I'm really interested in is the fact that I, I personally think that eviction should be out completely for whatever reasons. I can't see any justification for uh, for, for people to be thrown out of their homes, whether they actually owe money or not. I, I really don't see why. 
why that should be a sanction that's open to anybody. It's just second as red, isn't it? Yes, yeah, that's right. And, and the, the, the population as a whole um, is more or less brainwashed into thinking that eviction is normal, debt is normal, and, and to, to my mind, that none of those things are normal. They're a form of mental illness, really. Yeah. To, to, to just to even assume that it's okay to impose that stuff on people. And uh, there's a lot of people here that agree with that as well. Well, the one unifying factor is debt. Yeah, that debt. debt. That's right. Ironically, it will be debt that frees us. Yeah, yeah. And we just heard this morning that, that uh, there was a, a, somebody was awarded in court a, a case against the banks, which pretty much proves that the, the, the mortgage is a fraud anyway. So that's uh, that's going to that's going to empower all the people too. So we've got people in the courts doing the work and we've got foot soldiers on the ground protecting yeah. homes. Fantastic. Yeah. What a yeah. fantastic day. That's right. Thanks, Peter. Yeah. Okay, mate. Cheers, pal. So, we've had a fantastic day. We know the sort of background to it, chaps. So, uh, what's your conclusions? Uh, very successful. Uh, the bailiffs haven't turned up. They did uh, what a lot of people expected. They become what they are, cowards mm. and bullies. And cowards and bullies don't come yeah. to face any man. What are you going to say? I agree totally. If, if they had any bottle whatsoever, they would at least come up and done what they said they were going to do in the paperwork. And the fact they've not turned up shows they know their paperwork is fraudulent. And the police didn't assist them because we would have had the police arrest the bailiffs for the corruption that, that's coming from the court. It'd be nice to think that this would be the end of it all, but we know that's not going to happen. So where, where do you see things going, Tom? Yeah, well, in my little video, I said the banks declared war on me, well, I've declared war on them, and tomorrow I'll be back in the court putting in something that they won't like. I can't tell you now. <laughs> but you'll keep us posted? I'll keep you posted, yes. So overall, a fantastic day at Dead Absolutely, and the, the response from up and down the country has been absolutely amazing. Yeah, Wonderful it's people. Local, it's it's countrywide, isn't it? It's, it's countrywide. There's people from yeah. all sorts of places. Yeah, yeah Scotland, Wales. Australia, 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 Manchester, Manchester. Manchester. <laughs> I can't forget Manchester. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, South London, <laughs> Surrey, you name it. And they've been, they're only here to stand up to bullies. And the bullies didn't like it. No. No, so. And like normal bullies, they backed away when they had a confrontation. Well, they didn't even <laughs> go to a confrontation. They didn't, well, it didn't even need a confrontation, did it? Yeah. It didn't even come to that. Well, okay, but, and it's so. now 4 30 in the afternoon. <laughs> And we're still here, happy and waiting for anyone to come and try, but we don't think they're going to. No, and there's still a group of lads, because uh, the lady at the pub opened up and supported the community. And there's still a load up there will come. There's about 150 like, left now. Yeah. About 150. That, that opened earlier, no, didn't they? Yeah, she very, and she's yeah. nine months pregnant almost. That's how much. And thought. she's been coming down to keep check as well. Yeah, yeah. She hasn't been about checking down months ago, was she? That's all it's about. It <laughs> shows the community supporting the cause. That's why they're trying to kill her. When yeah. we reunite that, we win every yeah, time. Yeah, so. Today could be one of them days where it may people be will a ask. Benchmark. What people might ask, happen. were you there that day? Yeah. Yeah. Were you on, yeah. the, on the day of the event when it all started to yeah, come together for the people? A big, thank, yeah. a big thank you then, Tom, for, uh, on behalf of all the people here and all the people watching this oh, on YouTube yeah. because you, you, you've been very brave and you've made a stand and you, you know, you're yeah. to be admired, mate. The thing, yeah. I, I can't thank people. We've got to thank these people. It's, it's you beyond words. words. Yeah, you do. You I mean, we can feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my wife, well, everybody knows. We it. She's been a great day. She supported me when I couldn't do anything. But these bailiffs are putting her through hell because she'll lie in bed now, wondering will the bang at the door, and that is terrorism. It is. It is exactly that. And they should be arrested. Yeah. Terrorising people, terrorising people. Well, do what you did the last time, put another video out. So oh no, see what happens, happens with the first. Yeah. 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 The power of it. And with the help of this gentleman it's beside me, we'll be Salon, yeah. absolutely brilliant. Until we win. And Guy, we win, Mr yeah. Ebert. Well, I'm not going through it, but I can't name you all. Thanks very much for your time, Tom. All right.